vector blur in it already so you don't have to add the vector blur during this have a vector blur and render the third res version of our standard outline and a vector blur outline this way you can bring them both in and just to see how they both look you know so you, you really got to play it's going to depend on your scene and everything but you know that looks cool once it's in motion you know that's just a standard outline blur you know there's no cc vector blur on that one and that one looks fine you know that's kind of a cool look it shows the outline good i turned the directional spread down so they're not up and it's a more cleaner um a run trail so you know there's nothing wrong with that that looks pretty cool so so you can if you just play with it you'll you'll get some pretty neat looks All right, so that that's pretty much that. That pretty much gives you the idea of what I'm trying to explain to you on how to do it. Now, let me let me go ahead and uh show you another one. Just another example. A real quick one. We'll go to the not that one. Uh this guy cuz I have him set up. I believe I already have him to where I can bring him in. Um put him in there. And we'll take him, uh, we'll br I think it's this one, we'll bring that down there, and we'll use that one as the, uh, as the layer. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so now we have him, you know, doing his run thing. Okay, I'm, uh, I won't go with the whole outline thing here, because I'm just going to show you what you can do. Um, okay, he's a stationary guy. Okay, actually, wait, I gotta turn off the uh, the velocity here because we don't you know, we don't want the changing. And yeah, that's that's all good there. All right, so the velocity, the size six forty. Let's make sure that size was six forty. And oh, this one's only seven twenty, so I'll have to s do a whole new thing for that one. Let's go to let's change the comp. to where is it here we'll take the composition and make this 720 by 480 and now the so that's that's the uh solid we'll change the comp to 720 you don't have to do this i'm just getting this set up i should have just paused it and set it all up for that all right, that's that way, good. Now, we need to get this rigged up, right? This is gonna be 360, so now we gotta go down and change our size. Let me set this to zero for velocity. I'm gonna change the size to three, what did I say it was, 360? Because now this is smaller uh, video we're working with, so we'll change that to 360. All right, so now, there we go. Now I got this set up. The comp is, uh, I'll just turn off the outline. I'll get rid of that. No, I'll leave it there in case I want to play with it later. Um, just ignore the outline color. I'll bring this one up. We're working with the 720 by 480 comp now. All right. Now, pretty much what's happening here is we want to, this is just a stationary dude. He's pretending to run stationary. You can say this was in front of a green screen, right? All right, so what we want to do is take it so he makes it look like he's got a trail coming off of him and he's running. So we set it to directional and we change take the velocity and pull it back, or pull it up. All right? And there's a couple ways we can set set this up, right? Now see as you can see it's flowing off of him. Now picture this of course if it was an outline. All right? And once the comp's over, which is right there, there's not going to be anything left to render, so what I'll do is cut it here, cut the comp, trim the comp there, so we don't go past that point like that. Now you can see we're making a flow off of him, just like I did on the super flight, except now all we have to do is use trap code to do it. All right, and now we can either go with slow velocity like this, right? If you go real slow velocity. like that now you can see it's kind of flowing off and you know it's fading away in shorter motions 
this. I'm going to life per second. We can go like this. Real, uh, real low uh, life per second on this one. Let's go to 0.5 on it. So it kind of fades out. You know, I find this to be pretty neat. So you can just kind of come off of him in a ghostly way. So you have to, you know, really experiment with this and see the kind of cool looks you can get from this, right? Shoot, I'm going to have to go with the, uh, I'd like to do it there, but I'll stick with this one because it works smoother. But you see how it's kind of fading, how, how it fades away because our life per second is only 0.5. You know, that's really cool looking how that works, right? And then you can possibly, um, if you want to have it go out more, maybe you could, uh, you know, give it a little bit more velocity, right? Or keep the velocity there like that. And then maybe use the wind effect that sometimes helps. Go to physics. Sometimes when you click here, it messes up. I'm going to turn on air. I believe it's this one. Use the wind effect to pull it out. You know, and that this way it'll kind of it'll it'll kind of be fading out and the wind will kind of be pushing it extra, not just the velocity. So it'll you know, it'll fade out and die. I don't know. It just gives it gives it a neat look. And this is this will really help in the flight trail too. So it's just, you know, it's a lot of things you can play with here. Some, I don't always like using the wind effect, though. I like kind of trying to stick to the velocity. And, uh, you know, just just don't be afraid to uh, experiment back and forth with these certain things that I'm doing. Uh, let's go with velocity here. More velocity. And do directional spread, you know, because that leaves it. Oh, another thing you can do is sometimes if you're doing effect and you're just stationary, right, and it's just you don't have any particles, you can turn, there's a pre-run thing on here, emissions extras, turn your pre-run up to 60 or even 30. You know, it kind of depends on wh whatever you need it to get to. This way, right away, see, even at zero, if there's nothing happening at zero, this way if your scene's real short and you really want to start off with something, Start it off and <coughs> set your pre-run until you get something. This way you have something to work with in the beginning. This would really help in like where that Clark, scene where Clark and B Bizarro punches Clark. Um, he already had stuff flowing off of him right when they go to the scene. So that would help. Uh, if he was just standing there and you wanted the particles, the outlines to flow backwards, you set the direction the correct direction so the st and the velocity so the particles will flow the correct way. Because you can change the direction you want these uh, particles to flow. Like he, it was more like in this direction, sort of, and maybe a little bit, um, a little bit up. Oop, wrong one. A little bit kind of up like that. Let me change this one back to zero. You can set the direction for any uh, way you want, and it kind of started off this way as he, you know, he was obviously standing frontwards and punching Clark. But right away, when they showed him, he already had the outlines pumping off of him. So that's where this pre-run will help. Because um, this way you already have outlines pumping off, and it doesn't have to get going before you do that. You know, this is where that would really come in handy. Just by doing this, picture this being that punch scene. And, you know, and uh, see how the outlines are kind of flowing this way. You know, you would only need those these real short uh, bursts. You don't need uh, anything... Uh, anything long you would only need like a real short uh, little velocity going out and fading really quick over time and then the motion that you'll get the echo just like on here you'll get the extension of the echoes from the movement so you'd only want to like have the velocity going out and then you'd you know have the uh, punch if you came around punching that's what would create the echo, him mo him actually moving, just like his arms, this guy's arms are going around like that. So, you know, that's it's just giving you some ideas. And, you know, you don't, you can actually come forward with the uh, look to make it look like him, things are growing, you know, like the outlines effects kind of growing. So, you know, there, there's one way. So you have to play with the rotation and stuff. And there's also another way for like an aura. If you were going to do an aura effect, 
and the you know this would work show much 